Hey everyone, my name is David Lotherington and today we're going to be learning about different reptilian species because reptilian racism is a real thing. So here we go. My name is David Lotherington. I'm a channeler, energy healer. I am an Akashic Records reader. I do psychic surgery and stuff like that for people. So on, in my travels I've come across a lot of different reptilian species. A lot of them come to me to be channeled and through that I gain insights in their culture, how they think about things, their perspectives and point of views and I learn about um, what they're interested in and why. So this is, a, this is what I want to talk about today. So here's my dog enjoying himself. Anyway, I'll get to it. So, sorry for the quality of this video. It's kind of uh, grassroots, but it is what it is. So, first, reptilian racism is a real thing. Um, people that are in the spiritual community, I would say over 80% of the people, know that all, rep <coughs> all reptilians are bad. <coughs> this definitely is not the case and I have had some experiences with different varieties of reptilians throughout my awakening process and most of them have been good there are people that have been like traumatized and you always hear the worst things um, because people don't really talk about the good stuff as much as they talk about the bad stuff and bad news travels faster than good news most of the time so I want to talk about uh, reptilians and the different species. Now as far as phylogenic systematics go, I'm not sure if I'm breaking this down properly and I'm probably not, so forgive me for that please. <coughs> First at the top, there's reptilians. So you have, <coughs> excuse me, mammals, reptilians, insectoids, then there's like uh, feline and lupine, canine, avian, that list goes on. But below reptilian, uh, there are draconian, which is broken down further into different groups. One is Draco and the other is Draxillian. Now Draco is uh, the family of that the Alpha Draconians are in. Now these are the guys that give the rest of the reptilians a bad reputation. But there are other Draco species that are not bad. Now the Draco people from uh, race, family, um, from my experience they are more survivalistic in nature uh, and that brings them to be uh, have a greater desire to conquer things. That doesn't apply to all Draco species at all. And just as an example, the Draxillian are an, another type of Draco. And this is where we get from mythology. This is the dragon species that you're aware of from mythology, like fire-breathing dragons and things of this nature. So some of these dragons are elemental in nature. Some of them are physical in nature. Some of them live on planet Earth and the inner Earth. Uh, so there's a wide variety of variances within the Draxillians. Next I want to talk about a different species and that is the serpentine reptilians. Serpentine uh, species, there's several varieties of course of all of these, uh, but the, the Naga is the example for this species uh, family. Now, I have had several occurrences with the Naga. They're very, very wise, they're very peaceful, very loving, and compassionate, uh, even though the reptilian. Now, some of you might be surprised by that, but they are considered the angels of the reptilians. So, humans look to etheric angels as angels, or perhaps even Arcturians. <clears throat> but, uh, the reptilians refer to the Naga as angels because they are so enlightened because they're they're love and lighty 
and uh, yeah, they're wonderful. <laughs> Look, if you're wondering why I'm moving around so much, I'm brain farting here. So the next species I want to talk about is uh, the saurian race. Now the saurians grew, evolved, and left the planet primarily, though they are still on the planet. Uh, primarily hybrid saurians exist upon the planet, but there are some full saurians as well. <clears throat> now, saurians would be in the lizard category, I believe, I think, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I do know a little bit about the Saurians because I had a friend some time ago who was approximately 40% Saurian and she had a lot of traits and characteristics of them as well. And uh, maybe we can get into that in a future uh, video, but for today I'd like to get into addressing reptilian racism. So a little bit on the Saurians. Uh, from my knowledge, from what I gathered from Mel, is that uh, they evolved from a species called Troodon ferocimus on Earth. And they grew up, evolved, reached the space stage of their development, left the planet, um, and then now they're on seven planets, I believe, at this time. But one thing to note, <clears throat> you might be thinking, oh, they probably just conquered these planets or whatever. And maybe they did but maybe they didn't. Now, there's lots of different ways to uh, set foot on a planet and make that your home. And it's not only by conquering or terraforming or infiltrating, there's other ways. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> the point is, <clears throat> they grew up on Earth before we did. And we're still thinking that, you know, this is our planet, how dare they? They're stepping on our territory. In truth, we evolved, and they allowed us to evolve on this planet. So we should give them some points for that. And also, I'd like to say that they haven't come back and just wiped us out, because they could do that very quickly. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Humans think that they're the pinnacle of the evolutionary tree, that is far from the truth, and although we are a modified species and we're developing very rapidly and our technology is as well, faster than our spirituality it seems at times, um, we should know that as far as space stuff goes, we're preschoolers. We have a lot to learn, we barely have quantum technology, so how do we expect to know anything about consciousness? Uh, I mean, there's a few people that know, but anyway, back to the point. Reptilian racism is real, and unless you n learn something about reptilian species, then don't start saying, oh yeah, blah blah blah, reptilians are bad. So, I just want to talk about one more species that should be listed. That is reptilian. It's, yeah, it's reptilian. Uh, is the Anunnaki. Now, the Anunnaki are known to be bad by mainstream population, um, but there's two truths to that. There's at least two groups of Anunnaki that I'm aware of. Um, one group identifies himself to me as Nibiru, and they're positively aligned. And the other group that's identified as Anunnaki is more ambivalent. I don't want to say malevolent, but they do have um, a desire to control and manipulate. And I have had several experiences with these Anunnaki people. So, yeah, several occurrences through my dreams. And if you like, we'll get into that in another video. So, that's all I wanted to say for now. Thank you for watching my content. I don't have a lot of videos. I don't do this very often. Um, but I hear things here and there and I get some knowledge through channeling. So if you're interested, put something in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join my, what is it, 171 subscribers. So check it out. Love you guys and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.